Hello there everyone, this is Kona Kona, and today I'm going to be starting this let's play of Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Super spooky. Uh, this... Oh, see, so it says I already have a save file, but this is actually something that started when I was at college. I didn't really do much, I just got to the Firelink Shrine and that was it. So, I'm going to be starting a whole new character, and... Coming in with with a, a few things. Um, enter character name. So this is gonna be this Kona Kona four one seven. Oops, forty seven four one seven. Here we go. And so that's that. Yes, yes. That's that's enter. Yes, thanks. So I'm going to be actually playing as a female because if I'm gonna have have like be staring at a character for uh, the whole game, I'd rather it be a female. So here we go. It's a female uh, class. I've heard. From many sources, that actually looks really cool. I've heard from like many sources that the um, the class doesn't really matter as much as you might think. So I'm just gonna go with uh, this right here, Wanderer, because I think it looks awesome. Actually, uh, let's have a look. Where's the dex? Okay. Well, I mean, that's... No, 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 I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna go with warrior because... Fuck it. Um, as far as, uh, the gift, I've heard that... Uh, they don't really make that big of a difference because you can find most of them in-game anyway. Uh, master key allows you to get to other places that you're not supposed to be at earlier, so I'm just gonna go with that because I think that'll be funny. Uh, physique. Uh, I don't really care. This looks a little bit too bulky. Slim looks fine. Very slim looks... I don't know. I'm just gonna go with slim. Face. Uh, oh goodness. All of these are very strange. I'm just gonna keep this one. And hair. Uh, sure. And, uh... I think I'll just go with black, honestly. So here we go, this is the character. <clears throat> and let's just go. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords ruled apart their stone skins. The witches ruled great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death.
the age of fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. There we go, that was, uh, some random guard dude who saved us. He has a name, I know he does, because I read up a little bit on him. Or, someone posted, I don't know, I read an article about, oh, he's so important in the story and people don't appreciate that often. First, I'm gonna have to check PC settings. Uh, that change it? Yes. So, I don't know what's going on, the cutscene seemed a little bit stuttery. Um, so I apologize for that. I hope it doesn't continue to stutter. I don't know if this game is locked at 30 FPS or what, but whatever. So, I know some of the attacks because I did play this at college. I, I just got out of the uh, Undead Asylum. Uh, oh, a message there. Oh yeah, I can run. I forgot about this. So, ooh, blood stain. Is that a blood stain? This will tell me how somebody died. I don't know if this is pre-programmed into the game, or, or what happened, but someone apparently died here. Uh, target lock, yes. I know all the controls. I, I've beaten this part, so there's going to be no surprises here, but this is mostly blind. I mean, sort of blind, because I have been watching Let's Plays, but I sort of play them on the background as I go to sleep. So I don't really pay much attention, and yeah, um, so this will be interesting for sure. So this is the first bonfire here. Fantastic. Uh, I do know where I have to go, but I'm going to have a look around here for a sec. There's nothing there though, so let's just run. Oh my goodness, I'm sprinting. It does not open from the side. Okay, so apparently I don't know where the hell I'm going. Is it this way? Oh no, I have to go in here, right. The Asylum Demon. Which I've heard from a friend, actually no, I actually read it online, that's bullshit, that if you do kill this guy, oh there, he's up there, you see that? And he's gonna super spook me, so spooky. That was so scary. So, um, I'm just gonna run, because I'm not supposed to be killing this guy. Where do I go though? I forget where I go, oh this way. 
So if you kill this guy right now, he will actually give you like a hammer or something. But apparently it doesn't work very well according to the Dark Souls wiki. It's like bugged. And I don't think I would be able to kill him anyway, so I'm immediately gonna give up on that. Get my shield. I don't know where my shield is. Oh right, it's up here to the right because this guy is being a dickwad. What's in here? Oh yeah, the shield. Yep. So... I know a lot of people are going to be ripping their dicks off, but how much, uh... Because I'm going to make a bunch of mistakes, but... I mean... That's fine, isn't it? Oh, the shield, yes. So this is my right hand. Here we go. Now I need to actually get myself a sword. Which I think is uh, that item right up there. This guy's going to run away. Go to the left. Yeah, he's gone. So here we go, we actually have the sword. Which I'm going to put right here, and here we go. Got my first actual weapon. And... Is that guy? Nope. Oh, okay, so what's, what's this? Change weapons, okay. So... Let me go kill this dickwad right over here. Hey friend. Don't hit me. Oh my god, that would have been embarrassing had I gotten hit there. Shit. Physics. Oh shit, that fire scared me. I thought the body caught on fire. I'm not going to do that anymore. That's what I get. Fucking around with bodies. Never do that, kids. That's probably very illegal. Very illegal. So, I know that the guy who freed us is actually behind this wall. You can see him over here, actually. Let's go have a look at our friend. He is here, and he is... I think it's the same guy. He's, like, almost dying there, so... We need to get through this wall, and for that, we need to let this boulder... Someone's gonna roll this boulder down, and I'm gonna... Avoid it, and oh my goodness, physics. And here he is. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Sure thing, bro. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen, and thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Hooray! Oh, and this. Hooray! Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Now I believe this guy actually does die after a while, because I remember walking around or, uh, after I saw him, and I do, I did get like a hundred souls. Um, so I think this is... This, this means that the guy does actually die, and his body disappears, which is kind of sad. And that up there, I still don't know how to get that, which is fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can come back to this place at some point, so... I won't stress out over it. Maybe I can, maybe I'm losing out on that, but whatever. Um, so what's down here? Okay, so that's the bonfire we were, we were at. And, uh still here. So first of all, let's go open this... Oh, there he goes. He's dead. Which is kind of sad. This guy was my buddy. He knows. Oh, shit. Okay, let's open this. And let's go rest over here. I jump a lot. Probably should stop that. I don't know why I should stop it. Should give me a reason. Oh wait, maybe I can kill the demon now without going up through the fog door, and maybe I'll still get the, uh, the hammer. This is fine. Oh, I can't. Okay, so they, they thought about that. People say, I read that um, the, you should get the fire bombs or something so that you can kill them before uh, you get the long sword, but oh shit. 
I mean, I didn't get the firebombs because it's gonna be more fun if I have the, ma the, the master key because I can get into stupid fucking situations that I'm not supposed to be in yet. Um, yep, so you can do this. But you can't shield, unfortunately, so whatever. So then you can... Oh, how, how do I kick? Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, hang on, what's the thing? I might be pressing the... Right bumper, right trigger. Left stick. Do I have to, like... There we go. Oh, there we go. I'm probably not going to use that very much, but there you go. Uh, oh, shit. Hello, friend. So these guys are super easy. They're just, uh, here's another guy right over here. And I know for a fact there's an archer over there. Let me just, uh, there you go. Take that, buddy. Oh, wow, those, those arrows look terrible. You see that? They're, like, glowing. And I know there's a guy over here with armor, so I'm gonna try and... This is the first actual kind of fight, so I'm gonna... Probably make a, a lot of mistakes. That wasn't very hard, was it? Wow. I, the first time I fought him, I actually had a much harder time. Not like I died. I got hit like once or twice, but still. Uh, so let's go kill the asylum demon that we ran from earlier. By jumping on his head. Oh, he's not pretty, is he? Oh my goodness, I didn't actually get that animation the first time I did that. Wow. That was, uh... That was surprising for sure. Oh shit, oh. That was like an overhead strike. I should probably be running towards him, but... And not doing that either. Oh my god, okay. Alright, so he's gonna jump and fall on his ass. I'm gonna go and stab him in the, the tummy. The belly. He's gonna do the same thing again. I don't think that can hurt me if I'm like... I should probably start doing the heavy attacks or whatever they're called all the time. Oh shit. Alright. Oh shit, I forgot there's a third attack after that. So, I'm not the best at this game. As you can tell by the fact that I'm just swinging at this guy mindlessly, and then shielding and getting hit by- oh, no. You gonna do the overhead attack? I should have rolled. Let me drink an Estus so I don't die. Right. Is he gonna swing again? No, he's, he's fine, he's fine. So let me- let me try and get an opening. Or just stab him like- oh! Okay. Oh my god, this is- this is certainly embarrassing, but hey, it's my first time playing the game. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm just gonna randomly swing at this man, this demon. He's a man too, even though he's just a demon, so. There we go, just, just, look, just get out. I didn't ask for this, there we go, he's dead. Goodness me. Uh, there you go. I can hear some stomping. I know for a fact there's something down here. But don't worry about that. I actually didn't check if there was anything around here, but is there a cutscene now? No, can I can I like roll into this? Oh my goodness. Ooh, the physics though. So here we are. This is actually a very pretty place. Good job, go straight ahead. Why thank you. Uh game. That snow there. Oh my god. That it's mountain dot jpeg over there, and we're about to get kidnapped by a sort of like raven or a crow. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. to leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran 